In today's morning meds, we'll explain how to be in the world, but not of it. So if you're ready, then let's go. Welcome back to Morning Meds, where we meditate on God's word in order to tackle everyday issues that we face as Christians. And if you like Morning Meds, remember to like, share, and subscribe so that we can make it through this life together with the help of God. Heavenly Father, you are great and greatly to be praised, and we thank you so much for being who you are. We ask you, God, to forgive us for the wrong that we've done, said, and thought. We are not worthy to be in your presence, but we thank you, Lord God, for your son, Jesus, who died, who sacrificed for us. We ask you, God, to allow us to understand your word and perceive in the way that you would see fit. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> so what is the world and who runs it? When we read of the world in the Bible, in the New Testament, it is in reference to the inhabited earth and the people that live in it. The cosmos, the world, functions apart from God. The enemy is the ruler of the cosmos. In Matthew chapter 4, verses 8 through 9, the enemy offers Jesus himself the world, the kingdoms of the world, and all of their glory if Jesus were to bow down and worship him. The only way that the enemy could offer this is if it belonged to him. So if you were ever wondering why the world is so jacked up, that's why. It's by design. It's intentional. So what is the meaning of in it? but not of it. Have you ever been a guest at someone's home for a period of time? While you're there, you respect how their home runs and operates. But no matter how long you stay there, once you return to your home, you don't change your home to run and operate like theirs. You keep your original mindset and household operations intact. Your physical environment may have changed, but who you are remain the same. It's just the same as being a U.S. ambassador or diplomat in a foreign country. They still represent the United States and still hold all of the rights and privileges of a U.S. citizen in that land. Being in the world but not of it means being in the world physically while remaining spiritually and consciously connected to God, His Word, and His Holy Spirit. As believers in Christ, our decisions, interactions, and discussions should reflect God and his kingdom. We do not represent perfection. We represent grace. We are being changed into the image of Christ, causing our interest in the world to become less and less as we grow in Christ. Psalms 37 and 4 says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. <laughs> Don't conform, transform. Be concerned only with how you present to God and not the statutes of the world. It's less about appearances and reputations and more about accountability and repentance. God has called us to be a light in the dark world, not as judge and jury. Show people God's grace, not by what you say and how you say it, but by how you live. Romans 12 and 1 says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your thinking, by the renewing of your mind. We are the light of the world and a city that is set up on a hill cannot be hidden. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your grace, mercy, and love. We thank you, God. We ask you, Lord God, to give us the courage to be in this world and not of it, God. We want to be for you. We ask you, Lord God, to just to shape our thoughts, shape our actions, Lord God, to be for you. We know that your word says that we are being changed into the image of Christ. So we ask you, God, to change us, mold us, and shape us, Lord God. Have thine own way in our homes, in our lives. We love you, God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 